This is Dan Abbott, Southern Maine Community College, uh, making this video so that students in the parametric solid modeling class understand why when you submit a project to me for evaluation, you must have a single folder that contains all of the files required for the project. So I'm going to open up in SolidWorks a file. And the file I'm going to open is under student 01. I'm going to go to graded caster parts. So this is the file that's being submitted is the assembly file. The assembly file requires the use of these parts. It also requires the use of some other parts which are actually all the way back here. So I need the nut, the lock washer, and the bolt. I also need a steel plate. And I also need all of these caster parts right here. Yeah, so watch what happens when I open the assembly. It comes up and it does this. And it's telling me it can't find these files. Well, there's a couple problems here. One is the files are on somebody's, uh, somebody's uh, desktop when you made them. And they weren't submitted in the same folder, so SolidWorks can't find them. It's looking on the C drive for things that aren't there because I don't have access to your desktop. Then you get all these error messages because it doesn't have any idea how to make things that don't exist. When I'm done, it looks like that. If I view the report, it says can't find the file, can't find the file, can't find the file. Now the problem is it couldn't even find the files that were in the same folder because they had all been renamed. So if I take a look here, please grade graded caster parts. The caster part names given here, part 1, part 2, part 3, part 4, are not the same names that were used in the assembly. So the student had not only not placed everything in the folder, but then had renamed some of the parts used for the assembly. So here's the logic. The assembly file does not contain any of the parts. It contains references to individual part files and then displays them in the assembly, in the um, form, in the arrangement that you use to create the assembly. The same is true for drawings. So at home, you can open it up because it can find all those files because you use them on your own computer and it knows what the path is. The path in that case means it's going to go directly to where the file is located and as long as you haven't moved it or changed the name, it'll find it and open it up. In my case, it can't find it. Now sometimes you'll find that you can open up an assembly file but you're not exactly sure where all the parts were that were used to create it. In that case, you can do this. I'm going to go and open up an assembly from my drive. I'm going to go to the faculty folder. So if I go to one of these caster projects that I've got and I go and open up one of the assemblies or even open up one of the drawings. Okay, I'm going to yeah, I'm going to open up that assembly file. So I open it up. It looks like this. I'm going to go rebuild it. And that's what I want. And so I'm at home working away and I say, well, I can find everything when I go to open it up. Why can't he? Well, many of you have a steel plate that you put in one location. You have the individual parts for the caster you put in a different location. And you have all the fasteners in another location. But those locations are consistent and the paths are saved in this assembly file. If you've done that, the way for you to submit something to me is to go to the file, pull down, go to pack and go. Pack and Go gathers together everything necessary for this assembly and allows you to go and put it in a single folder. So if I went over and said I want to go to that folder where the student folder was that I just opened up. So if I go here and say I want to put it in this folder and I'm going to make one. I'm just going to go to the please grade. I'm going to say make a new folder. That new folder is going to be called Caster Project. And everything is going to go in there. So I select that folder. And then I say, yeah, go ahead. And by the way, include any drawing files that I might have put in there as well. And I would do a save. It goes and dumps them in that folder. Now I'm going to close this file. I'm going to close this file. Don't save. All right. So now I'm going to go back to that student folder. I'm going to open things up again. So I'm back in the student's folder. 
please grade and I have this caster project folder that I just created I go in here and I say well let me just see if I can open it up there's the assembly file I open it up and it looks fine <clears throat> because what SolidWorks has done is gathered everything necessary put it together and then placed it in a folder so if you're having difficulty or you get something back from me and it shows that you got an error message when I or I got an error message when I tried to open it and again that includes if you rename the files it's not going to be able to find them or put them in a different location then you can use pack and go to create <coughs> and me create a folder that you can then place well it won't create the folder you have to create that but you can put it in um, a folder and then submit it in the please grade folder